when I first joined, the conversation was very relegated to financial services. How are the big banks going to use this? And even that conversation was, how are the big banks going to use this to make their systems more efficient? I think that conversation has transitioned to, we're creating an entirely new model here. And even the big banks are sort of on board with that. People really want to be a part of this conversation, and that's the first step to this technology. As I said, the next step is, OK, we want to be a part of the conversation. What can it really do for you? And my argument is that you know there will be cases where the answer is nothing. Um, but I think there will be far more conversations where the answer is really compelling. I think one of, the, one of the issues that we have as an industry is that people are talking in three to five year increments, maybe five years. I think this is a decades long experiment. And I don't know that I can say where I think we will be. What I can say is that I think there is, and I, and I firmly believe this, I do not believe there is a single industry that will not be touched by this technology. And so, you know, when you created the internet, there was no way to really predict Facebook. Um, but, there, but the sort of basis of the internet was to connect people directly. And I think, and that's what Facebook does, right? It's, it's a sort of delivery of that promise. I think the same is true for this technology. This technology is about allowing people to own and transact val their own value. Um, and so I think that will impact, you know, identity. You think about sort of refugees and, and the inability to sort of register their identities. Well, you can do that with this. Land titles, you know, I, Haiti, when the earthquake happened, um, most if not all of the land titles in the nation were held in one building that was destroyed. So you have a nation now that doesn't have land titling. Um, and this technology can meaningfully change that.